write the following expression as a polynomial. Let's start from left to right with this first term, a binomial squared. Anytime we're squaring a number, we are multiplying it by itself. So this is really 3 minus x times itself, 3 minus x. And now we can see that we're multiplying two binomials together, and we know we need to use the FOIL method in order to factor this out. Let's start with our front terms. 3 times 3 will give us 9. Then our outer terms, 3 times x, will give us a negative 3x. Don't forget about this sign right here. Then our inner terms, negative x times 3, will be negative 3x. And negative x times negative x, which will be negative, excuse me, positive x squared. Then we can move on with the rest of the expression, which is also two binomials being multiplied together. So once again, we will have to FOIL in order to simplify. Starting with our front terms, 3x times 2x will give us a positive 6x squared. Then our outer terms, 3x times negative 2 is negative 6x. Inner terms, 2 times 2 is positive 4x. And then a positive 2 times a negative 2 will give us a negative 4. Now we have a long string of terms that we need to find all of our like terms within and combine in order to simplify. Let's make it easier on ourselves by putting this all in order of descending power. So our highest powers are these x squared, 6x squared plus x squared. Then our next highest powers are all of these x's that are to an invisible power of 1. So we have minus 3x minus 3x minus 6x plus 4x, and then we finally have our constants, minus 4 plus 9. And now it's much easier to see what our like terms are so that we can combine. 6x plus x squared, if it exists there's always one of them, so 6 plus 1 will give us 7x squared. Then we will have a negative 3x and a negative 3x combined will give us a negative 6x. A negative 6x and a positive 4x will give us a negative 2x. And then a negative 4 plus 9 will give us a negative, excuse me, a positive 5. Adding a negative is the same as subtracting a positive, so you could also rewrite it to be 9 minus 4. Looking at our answer choices, we can eliminate a and c for not having 7x squared in the front, and we can eliminate b for not having plus 5 as its constant. So that tells us that d has to be the correct answer. At that point, you can mark that on your test and move on. However, for the sake of the video, I will continue solving the problem. Our last two terms to uh, combine are negative 6x and negative 2x, which will give us a negative 8x plus 5. This expression perfectly matches answer choice D, making it our correct answer.